sorry we could not meet in person today. I am super sad about that. But you will get your stories just as promised. So today we are going to talk about some really fun animals. And this week we kind of talked with, uh, oh my gosh, Josh about Nova and uh, the narwhal. And so today I have a story about a narwhal and his name is Wendell. So this is Wendell the Narwhal by Emily Doe. Because you know, narwhals are the unicorns of the sea. Wendell the narwhal just wants to make music. Sweet, sweet music. And there's only one problem. He can't make music. He tries and tries and tries. All the other animals, they make music. It's not fair, says Wendell. The octopus goes, pop, pop, pop. Oh, and Wendell is very sad. And the jellyfish, they go, wubba, 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 wubba. And the blowfish goes, whoosh. And the whale goes, tweedledee, tweedledee, beep, beep, tweedledee. <laughs> and the clams go, they go, clappity clap, clappity clap. Now the ocean is too noisy. Quiet. And Wendell, he taps on the rock with his horn. Tap, tap, tap. gets the attention of all of the sea creatures. <sighs> Phew, Wendell says. Oh, well now Wendell looks kind of down. Well now the ocean gets too quiet. Aw. Everyone looks sad about that. So Wendell, he decides he's gonna swim off. Wait, Wendell! Everyone is telling him to wait. Do you wanna play with us, said the jellyfish. Really, me, says Wendell. You would make a great conductor. Just lead with your test. So Wendell does. A one, and a two, and a three, and the octopus goes, pop, 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 and the blowfish goes, whoosh, whoosh, and the jellyfish goes, wubba, 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 and the whale goes, twiddle dee twiddle dee and then the clam goes, clappity clap, clappity clap, they're making music now. Now, the ocean is not too noisy and not too quiet. It's in great harmony, and it is marvelously musical. They made some awesome music together, didn't they, guys? The end. That was super exciting. I love Window the Narwhal. <clears throat> so, let's see here. I have Maxwell the Monkey Barber by Kale Addison. Have you ever seen a monkey cut hair? Does a monkey cut your hair? Surely not. That's silly. Come to Maxwell's barbershop for a trim or for a chop. He grabbed his scissors and lowered the chair, ready at nine to cut some hair. Baboon swung in with curls grown high, a cut to free what lives inside. After many snips, it's less a home and more a place to run a comb. And before you go, might I say, your hair is the best I've seen today. Maxwell's pretty happy about that. Lion, he crept in with a mane gone wild. 
wild. Please clip this beast to show my style. That beastly mane has said goodbye and now so sharp it needs a tie. Lion looks pretty good there. And before you go, might I say, your hair is the best I've seen today. Whoa, look at all that hair he's collecting. Bear lumbered in with a big furry frown. A trim before I'm left from town. Whoa, look at all his hair. The fur is gone within a flash. I even trimmed your long mustache. Before you go, might I say, your hair is the best I've seen today. Now look at all the hair that Max has. Elephant slumped in, sad and very down. My head is so cold with no hairs found. Oh, elephant needs some hair. Maxwell looked and found it true. There were no hairs, not one, not two. Come back tomorrow right at three. I'll think of something. Just wait and see. What was Maxwell going to do? He thought, he thought, and then he knew. What do you think he's gonna do, guys? Let's find out. Elephant came back, as Maxwell said, and waiting right there for his head, something fine, crafted with care, a lovely wig of soft, warm hair. Ooh, it looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? And before you go, might I say, your hair is the best I've seen today. Look at Elephant's hair. That's pretty cool. Everyone heard of elephants new do, and hair or no hair, they wanted one too. Come one, come all, to Maxwell's shop for a wig or for a chop. The end. Would you go to Maxwell's barber shop to get your hair cut? You would? I probably would too. It'd be fun. Let's see here. So this summer, we're probably going to be outside a lot. And summer is a great time to get out and have some fun. So this story is about Outside In by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Cindy Durr. It's great illustrations. Once we were part of Outside and Outside was a part of us. There was nothing between us. Now, sometimes even when we're outside, we are inside. We forget outside is there. Look at these pretty illustrations. So outside reminds us. What is this? Can you see what that is? What is that? It's a snail, you're right. With flashes at the window and slow magic tricks. Oh, what is that? We talked about that this year. It's a butterfly, you're right. It sends the sunset and shadows inside to play. Outside sings to us with chirps and rustles and tap, tap, taps on the roof. It beckons with smells of sun-baked fresh and mysterious. Look at all the pretty flowers. Outside feeds us sun and rain and seeds. They become warm bread and berries for us to eat. The outside cuddles us in clothes, once puffs of cotton, and it holds us in wooden chairs, once that were trees. We 
we feel outside in the warm weight of our cats and the rough fur of our dogs. Aren't they cute? Outside shows us there is a time to rest and a time to start fresh. Like in the morning, we wake up nice and fresh and ready for the day. Outside steals inside a spider sneaking shelter. A box bug in the back and a tiny snail on kale. Even rivers, they come inside. Cool water rushing, eager to return to the sea. I'm here, outside says, and I miss you. So the outside, it awaits for us, waiting. And of course, we answer, right? So make sure you guys get out this summer and join us here at Riverside Regional Library because we have some really fun programs happening for you guys. So the crafts for this week is a narwhal a paper plate craft and you guys, for the teens, you guys can make a monkey with holding a banana for your pencils. So hope you guys have fun this week and I will see you next week.